All right, David, you're going to show me around this uh, 1940 sure. Merc Coupe. Sure. Uh, it's got the flathead in it. Right, of course. Right here, the flathead V8. Right. Uh, Correct. And it's similar to a Ford, but it's a Mercury. Yeah, it's a little bit has, bigger. Has a little more power it did. Yeah. 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 The yeah. bumpers were different. And the, the, the grill was different too. Right. Um, also has the two barrel, yeah. the uh, oil filter and such. Right. So that's the uh, the big thing. These were the hot cars uh, of the day, especially if you got a Merc. Uh, put that underneath. Oh, beautiful. I love the uh, radiator lines. Those are great. The cooling lines. That's cool. That is cool. Interesting on the fuel pump. I know the um, Merc, the uh, push rods always, uh, the cam always wore out. I love push the rods. Yep. Yeah, I love the distributor. That is great. That is great. Good old three speed. Lovely. Now you just bought this a year ago? About a year ago. Wow. I, I found it sitting in a barn like, yeah. like seven miles from me. Really? And it would, the, it, it was a um, my buddy in high school, his brother, bought it in 1985. Uh-huh. Title. Right. And it, and it had not been inspected or on the road since 1958. Oh, my gosh. It was put in a barn, and it was left there. Wow. This is still in great shape, though. Yes, it is. It's solid. Look how solid. The bottom end is beautiful. Is it as rust-free underneath as it is yes, on top? Yes, Wow. Look at this. I'm looking at the door edges because that's the telltale this of the rod. original panels. Wow, look how basic it is. Yet this was the fancy car. Oh, the plastic started to melt. That's gorgeous. Look at those gauges. How deco can you get? Look at that battery. Oh, is that cool? Oh, that is lovely. Again, this is 1940, so it's pre-war. Uh, that's the master cylinder down there on the floor. This is brilliant. Plastic was an exotic material back then. Now look how close this coupe is. Now this is not the business coupe because no. as far as I can see, it never had a back seat. Okay, so it might have been a business coupe then. It Although didn't he... have any ashtrays in the back either. Well, it does have an ashtray well, in the back. I put those in, but oh, it okay. never had screws in the holes that hold them on. Gotcha. Yeah, and the, the window crank handles right. would have been real short, uh -huh. and they would have been no need for ashtrays in the back. Right. And the, still has the armrest, though. Yeah. Well, I think they are off of a 46 or 48. Oh, okay. Because the front seat, evidently, is 46 or 48. Ah. Because it mounts on a little different on the floor, and the material is, is a little different. Yeah. Okay. So I'm pretty sure it's got on, on, on later seats into it. I can tell you some things on this plastic. Uh huh. The steering wheel was blue. It was yeah. a blue plastic. The door, the door handles were like a green plastic coating. Oh, they interesting. On, onto the onto the pop metal. Yeah. Uh, and this one was also green at one point, but it's fallen off. And, and, and it had a lot of chrome on here, and it had a plastic emblems across here, and these were blue, uh -huh. as, far, as far as I can see, uh, the color onto them when they were made. Yeah. So, so a Mercury was quite a bit of differences between those and a Ford. Oh, yes. What? Because the window frames are like chrome, uh -huh. stainless, stainless steel, and the, and the door is shut like new. Oh, this is this is something else. I love the uh, tight coupe body on this, and the split rear window. This is so gorgeous. The trunk is very solid. Wow! It's, Look at it's, that. It's not rusty. Oh my gosh! I like that jack. That didn't survive too well. No, the jack is pretty rusted. That's and that's real. the original. Look at that, with the pinstriping on it. Yep. Oh! It had the original wheels on it and trim rings when, uh -huh. when, I got, when I found it. Now, is this the original tree stump holding up the trunk? <laughs> it's, it's probably after 1950, yeah. I will say. By the way, I love your 
sign. That is brilliant. It, it never had turn signals on this car. Uh huh. It never had them. Yeah. Uh, they never put them on. No, yeah. it was not required at that point. No, I, I believe what happened here, as far as what I can I can figure out, uh -huh. is he probably took it in for inspection in 1958. Right. And it would not pass inspection because it had a hole in the muffler and it did not have any turn signals. Ha! Huh. So I believe it was probably refused and they probably just put it away because they didn't want to go through the expense of putting the turn signals on to it. Yeah. I have the original muffler up front here if you want to look at that. Yeah, sure. Was, I want to grab one shot of the back. This sure. is gorgeous because I can't get over these lines. Yeah. It's such of a striking. Just and the styling on this business coupe is yeah. so unique. That is fantastic. Let's see the muffler. Unless you want to look in here because it has it had, it had a clock and a light. Wow! Look at that. And and the uh, the dome light or the dome light and the um, glove box light still works fine. Ha! Huh. And radio delete, I see. Yes. That's cool. This is this is all the original glass except uh -huh. the front door. This was busted up pretty good. Yeah. And I had to make a new one, but it has the original forged strip glass onto it. Right oh, there. that's beautiful. Look at that. That is amazing. How many miles are showing on the odometer? 28,000. Oh, jeez. I think that's the first time, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh, you never can quite tell. But this car is remarkable. But to have the original muffler on it, and the original manifold white pipe, and the original tailpipe, because they were clamped and the nuts were on top of the clamp uh -huh. as it would went down the assembly line, the nut was put on the top, not the bottom. Right. And I can tell by the way it was squished down here. Uh -huh. It was original clamp, original forged script, domed muffler. Oh my gosh. This is the original muffler on the car. This is one of the original hubcaps. Oh, look at I'm that. I'm still looking for more. Yeah. 1940 was all by itself. Okay. The script writing of the Mercury 8 on tour. Yeah. That's gorgeous. It has, it has this little crank uh, cover still on the grill. Uh -huh. But I don't believe it was ever hand cranked much. I doubt it does have it. Uh, it is set up for it, though. Yes, it would. Yes. Wow. It would. The original radiator, the original bottom radiator hose from the left side. Yeah. It just blew out last Sunday when I warmed it up. <laughs> the rubber dissolved and it blew out and started leaking. So I had to rig up something to get it here so I could drive it around. Yeah. Oh, that is great. It, it has. Um, the original battery cables on it. Uh huh. The air cleaner. I know that. Look at that, the cloth and everything. No original. Mercury. Holy no, smokes. No, no, no. Wow. wow. This does have a heater too. Oh, it's all and stern wheel and everything. Yeah, yeah, this does too. It has original key. Yeah, people say, don't you know, we've got a lot of stern wheel, not long ago, they brought you know they. Had they had a lot of turn, and now I know it's 41, but I got a 41. And yeah. Turn wheel yeah, Mercury is different for it. Yeah, I know. This is Mercury. Yeah, yeah. It's because it has a Mercury 8 on the way. Well, they're the same part, just a Mercury a little more expensive. Than oh, the yes, yes. For the better paid workers. I, I will show you something with this horn, which is awesome. When I when I found this in the barn, yes, I took it home and uh -huh. had six five gallon pails full of black walnuts inside on the seats and underneath the seats and packed into the bag. Oh I cleaned gosh. it all out. Yeah. And in, in 48 hours, I had it running. I put another carburetor on, a fuel pump, took all the spark plugs out, cleaned all the wires. Mm -hmm. Pulled the distributor apart, put points in condenser in it, found, found a coil that would fire, mm -hmm. and I, uh, I rigged up a can on uh, underneath a hood, and mm -hmm. I had it running in 48 hours, wow. and I took it back to 
the auction site where I bought it and I showed it to the auctioneer. Yeah. And he couldn't believe that. That is amazing. All four, all four tires were rotted off and flat on it. We put air to them and they all came up enough to get it on the rollback. Wow. That says something. And so you bought it at auction, huh? Yeah, it was, it was like a, um, a tag sale auction. Uh huh. Like, yes. And I nice. Paid, I paid enough for it. Yeah. Well, but obviously. I love it. This is, this is, I mean, David, this is such of a rare bird this, and so uh, solid. This horn on this thing will just knock your socks off. Holy, what's this, the Queen Mary? It's, it's, wow. It, it sounds it, doesn't it? That is unbelievable. I think if you were driving a Mercury, they got out of your way or, or they got blasted out of the way. Oh, that is so cool. It, it had all the original brake lines on it, original brake shoes, as far as what I can see. They had not been changed, and the drums hadn't been resurfaced uh -huh. onto it. All the brake lines could have been reused. They mm -hmm. didn't leak fluid, and the brake hoses didn't leak fluid. Yes. But I put brake lines on it. Yeah. The gas Here line you. was original gas line. I put a new gas tank in it. I ran it for a while with the original gas line. But then it wanted to leak back by the tank, oh. so so I I've got a um, a, a new correct style looking mm -hmm. gas line for it and put on. Smart. So, so it works it works pretty good. The wipers work on it. The heater works. The blower motor in the heater. Oh, okay, box. I was going to say the uh, heater can't work because you have the hose cut right. over there. But, but the blower motor on it oh, ran geez. without even having to take it apart. That's great. That yes, is I, great. I, I, I just love this. This is amazing, Dave. Absolutely mind-boggling. And I'm looking at the engine. It looks like it's never been touched. The engine mounts haven't been off, and the transmission's never been on. Wow. The clutch slips a little. Big deal. Yes. That is so. The wiring harness to the back was chewed up really bad, so I had to put one on it and the mm -hmm. time I got done with all the grease and dirt on my hands it looks like it's been on there for a while because good. that wiring harness is not shiny good. anymore oh this is great jeez I just cannot believe can how it off if you like sure it. Listen to that thing purr. That is gorgeous. I can't believe she purrs like a kitten. Wow. Unbelievable. Listen. It still has good air Fantastic. Oh my God! The wipers still work on for that, but you have to know how to operate them. Yeah, the vacuum wipers are really uh, quite unique. Quite unique. Oh, this is beautiful! My gosh! Now, who added the stickers on the uh, cord? I did. Okay. Because I had a Ford in high school that I had STP stickers on the window. Of, but of course. A 50 Ford Coupe. Yeah. Yes. And it looked similar to this. There was no bumpers or grill. Uh -huh. It was all red primer, red outside primer. With the wheel wells cut out and the fiberglass hood scoop uh, teardrop put on the hood and thrown the rear wheels on the bag. Because I couldn't afford two more for the front. I had those blue headrests from. National Auto or American Auto that slipped over the. Oh, yeah, seat. yeah, yeah. They had, to, they had to stain this thing on them. Yes. They were pretty dangerous, really. But, but it looked cool with one one headrest on it. There you go. And you probably paid, what, 50 bucks for the car originally? I, I, I paid 65 hours for the car, and I took the engine out of a 51 convertible I had. Uh -huh. The automatic was shot, and I found a bell housing and a three speed transmission. Yeah and a, uh, a three-speed uh, spark matic shifter to put it on the floor. Oh, and, great. And put a three-speed on the floor into it. Oh. And it was, it was uh, pretty neat looking. 
that is great. Now I see why you had to put the stickers on. Y yes, because yeah. these, these are like vintage stickers. Definitely, definitely. I mean, no one, no one in the day could go without the champion, STP. the moon eyes, or yeah. the STP, or yep. the thrush. Yep, you had to have an STP. Definitely. Of course, you had to put STP in it before it didn't burst much oil. Yeah. So that was the reason. Yeah. Oh, great stuff. Oh, this is so cool, David. Okay. This is so I cool. I thought you might like it. Oh, my gosh. When, Thank you. When this was new, it was that cloud mist gray, they called it, which is a green. Uh-huh. Oh, and yeah. it was beautiful wow. with the chrome stripe on it here and uh, the, the blue and then the green plastic handle. Yeah. Here. This must have been a very sharp color. That is gorgeous. Just even as is. What a nice sight. What a nice sight. Yes, this is great. Everyone likes it. To oh. look at it. And it's just something cool. The frame is real good on it and the good. floorboard. But I'm not going to sell it. It's, Good for you. It's, there's no reason to sell You're it. You're having too much fun driving it yes. around. Yes. It Excellent. I take it down the, down the road about three miles where where our house is. And I drive it out the dirt road and I don't have to worry about stones bouncing off it. Good point. It goes out the dirt road good. When I go to go up the driveway, which is a little steep, I have to drop it in first gear. Uh -huh. Of course, when you're driving on the dirt road, you, you have to hold it in second gear because the synchronizer is bad and it pops out of second gear. You have to hold it up in there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's great. Hey, what do you want for an 80-year-old car, 81-year-old yeah. car? Yeah, that's true. So that's not bad at all. Yes, the windows work fine in it. You don't have overdrive, do you? No, no it okay. does not have overdrive. The parking Oh, right look, it's the way. Oh, I love the way it goes down without the frame around the uh, vent window. Yeah, there was, there was no uh, molding or frame around the vent wow. window. Wow, yes. that's fascinating. The original weather stripping in here, I left that there. Uh-huh. Oh, this is fantastic. What a car of surprises. Jeez. Yes, it is. You don't see many like this. Very rare. Very rare. Oh, fantastic. David, i got to thank you very, very much. I will shut this off. <laughs> well, yeah, listen to that thing. That's loud. That's insane. That's great. Okay. David, thank you very much. You're welcome. This is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com at the 2022 Ford Nationals over here in Carlisle for more cool events like this and really outrageous stories, especially from car people like Dave. Stay tuned to NortheastWheelsEvents.com, SoutheastWheelsEvents.com, and UK Wheels Events, your, your car show calendars, and make sure you put your stuff on there too. I'll see you at the shows.